you're new here, hi, my name is Tisha. I, along with my dog Chape, recently moved to New York City, beginning of the year, and it has been a huge adjustment. It looks like a chihuahua. We are done! I'm 33 years old, and here I create vlogs about my average life living in New York City. Give me a high five. Good job. So right now I'm getting ready to go out on the fifth date. It's the same guy that I've been going out on dates in the previous vlog. Today he has planned out like a whole thing. So we're going to Astoria Seafood for lunch and then we'll go to Cora Donuts and then we'll just go to Gantry Park. I've never been to any of these places before so we'll be heading to Queens today. The DIY project that I was talking to you guys in the last vlog, putting the wallpaper either on the fridge door or the wall. I haven't decided that yet. I think I'll figure that out tomorrow. Now I just want to finish doing my hair. I'm almost done and then makeup i still have to decide on what to wear what to wear saga still continues you know sometimes when i'm not happy with my curls what i do is i just braid it for time being like until i do my makeup or even i have the same hairstyle in the train and then i just take it off right before i get to my destination today i don't know i'm not happy with my curls so it goes on the side braid for now until I'm satisfied. <laughs> Since I've been suffering with insomnia for past couple of weeks, my dark circles has been so bad. I feel like even with a corrector and concealer, it still doesn't hide my dark circles anymore. So this is my photo today for today. I didn't have time to decide on what to wear, so I'm just keeping it simple. Just wearing this set. All black and paired with my white Converse. I am running late. I will talk to you later. Bye. Last vlog, I'd mentioned that I had joined a creator community group. So today is one of the big calls. Uh, Natisha, do you wish to an uh, want to answer the question, what inspired to create content and has that inspiration uh, changed over time? Once I turned 30, I realized that there are not a lot of content creators who are 30 year old. So just representing my, I guess, my age group and beside that also south asian representation it has definitely with time has changed and has given me more confidence to show up as as me i think i answered well all the said. questions right okay well said well said mm -hmm. i mean you did so this is my first time ever using wallpaper whenever i start something new i always tend to stall it it's just the feeling of uneasiness in the beginning once i start it's fine but starting is the one that takes the longest and it's like the hardest part as well so i'm definitely placing this wallpaper on the fridge and then the main door as well only thing is this safety notice i'm gonna try to take it out if i can't take it out maybe i'll just put the wallpaper around it and then cover it up with like a frame or something to be honest i don't know what the heck i'm doing i just watch one or two tutorials and even with that <laughs> I don't know. I did end up getting this wallpaper smoothing kit from Amazon. So even the wallpaper is actually from Amazon as well. You know, whenever I wear this set, I'm one with the couch. So it comes with the measuring tape. This is definitely to smooth the wallpaper so that there's no bubbles. I'm not sure what is this for. And then it comes with this blade as well. Ooh. 
I will link everything in the description box below if anyone is interested as well. And if there's anything that you guys want me to share at the link, let me know. That's another blade. Oh, there's actually multiple. <laughs> there's three, different, different size. <gasps> it looks like I can remove it. Hold on. <gasps> guys, it came out. I have a peek. What's it called? Peek up? No, not peek a boot. Peep hole. Peek a boot. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the hole around this, and that way I can flatten the surrounding. So this is where the lock is. I am shaking right now. Now comes the other lock. <laughs> I have one more left, and the other difficult one left, and after that it's just plain. But so far. It's looking good. So when I cut it, I cut it too much. There's a massive hole here. You know what I've been doing? Whenever I do these boos, the whatever I have like cut out extra that's on the floor, whatever is a similar color, I just picked that one. Put it behind like this. <laughs> and you can't really see the gap once I fix this like this. Look. is fine but when you go down there's additional white spacing so the way i placed it i think it's straight it's just the door is crooked and worse come to worse if this thing bothers me on the side i will just put additional wallpaper on the side or something like that i'll figure it out oh my god little twist so the top part aligned pretty well but then i was having a hard time aligning this so i had to fold the wallpaper here to make sure the two pieces are seamless. I love how the peephole matches with the wallpaper. So what I'm thinking is for this side, if I'm able to use any of the remainder wallpaper, I'll use that to cover it up. I think I spent around three and a half hours, almost four hours doing this, just this one. I finally found the piece that works for this side. So I think I'll be able to cover both the bottom as well as the top too. Luck is really on my favor today. So I was able to cover from the top till the bottom. And it looks so seamless. This is the other rule, and it's very seamless. I am sure. <laughs> this looks so good. I love the final result a lot. At the end, everything worked out. So happy, and I'm so proud that I did it. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to do grocery today. I do have stuff left from last week. I think I'm gonna do chicken, chicken curry and rice. So whenever I cook something with spices in it, I always bring out my air purifier to the living room. I feel like ventilation in general in US apartments is not that great. Back in Nepal, like when we cooked stuff with masala in it, we never had any issue. But here, if I don't ventilate well, then all my clothes, everything smells of spices. How oh, is this tomato getting bad already? Putting the wallpaper on the fridge, I think I will do it next weekend. My rice is done, and then chicken as well. <laughs> I didn't really pan fry the chicken, neither the tomatoes or onions. I just dumped everything in to kind of like boiled. So they were cracking up, but at the end I think it tasted decent. I ended up having two rounds, so... <laughs> so I just wrapped up work It was kind of like a long day today So I recently moved to a new team beginning of the year And things were picking up But now it's gonna be very very busy In between meetings I was just checking out the door And feeling 
so happy about it it's true all the pop of colors whatever i've done in the apartment so far it just makes me so happy when i look at it and i was just sitting here admiring the door i'm gonna take chape for his evening walk right now and then i have to pick up a couple of things from target but before that i need to give chape his cbd this tiny bottle was 150 dollars i tried cbd for myself maybe like two years ago and that time my cbd was around like 35 dollars the other thing that the vet had recommended to give him was something like a high reward treat this is not related to cbd this is just another recommendation that the vet had made all of this is for chapi's separation anxiety he never had separation anxiety before but ever since the move this guy has separation anxiety now and that's the reason why he goes everywhere with me and for his high reward toy Hold on. so this is his high reward toy he had the squirrel since he was chap is here already because he hasn't seen this for a couple of days he's here already to grab his squirrel it looks so bad there are like holes here too he had the squirrel since he was i think six months old or seven months old so he had the squirrel for quite some time i refer to it as his emotional support toy <laughs> Go. so i'm supposed to give both the treat and the toy when I leave him in the apartment by himself and then once I'm back obviously the treat won't be there anymore but I would take away the high reward toy I know another thing I got comments was about getting a camera so I did get this camera after I got the neighbor's note just to see if it's actually true or not and that's how I was able to confirm that he has separation anxiety and he does bark quite a lot when I'm at home. So now when I leave for like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or for however long, uh, when I'm training him to be by himself, I'll be using this camera as well. So far I like it. So I just put the syringe in like this, or like, like that. Do you like it? Just a heads up, I'm wearing my Invisalign right now So it might be a bit awkward or like stumble with my words Well, I stumble with my words in general but like more There are a couple of updates that I want to give you for the apartment as well But I think I'll give you guys an update in the next vlog It's almost 12.30 Yeah, 12.34 right now so I have to wake up a little bit earlier than usual I'm meeting with my manager at 9.30 to talk about one of the new projects I got assigned So before meeting him, I just need to prep for it basically Just go over a couple of documents so Most likely I'll wake up around 6.30ish And log in around 8 instead of 9 So I'm gonna end the vlog here I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me Let me know if you have any suggestions on upcoming videos If there's anything else you guys would love to see do let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel whenever you interact with the video it either could be like comment or subscribe it signals youtube algorithm to push out the video to a larger audience and if you have an instagram my instagram is tisha shreshta and i'll see you guys in the next one